Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilled on How You My Dear Learners. In this video, I am going to share a fantastic platform where you can do your literature review, especially systematic literature review and meta-analysis without having Scopus or Web of Science database access. Nowadays, my other researchers and learners say that they do not have the Scopus and Web of Science database access because these are institutional affiliation needed at the same time, these are expensive to access. Some of the institutions, they don't have Scopus and Web of Science access. For them, it is easier to use these two fantastic platforms to do your systematic literature review and meta-analysis. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, the first one that I'm going to share is called the OpenLX. This is a completely free open access platform where you can download hundreds and thousands of research articles for free. And you can easily use systematic literature review, meta-analysis, bibliometric analysis. There are so many things you can do with this particular platform. So all you have to do, go to the OpenLX and then use your Gmail account to account create by login. Very simple one. And then let's say I would like to make something on a topic repo rate and inflation let's say this is my topic that i am going to search so you can see that the search has given me so many articles right now for systematic literature review we have inclusion and exclusion criteria right in order to do that you can just simply press click button you can see author institution keywords open access topic type and year let me check the year as well Let's say I would like to check the year 2020 to 2025. And let's say I am going to search using this particular filter. Now here it is 162 results came by and this is the year range. Okay. You can use many other filter very easily. For example, here you can say monetary policy and economic impact. If I search this one only. Then you can use the institutions that you are looking for for your meta analysis and systematic review. You can always check the articles if you want. There are so many other options you can choose. Just simply press this plus button and add your inclusion criteria. Once you have it, you can easily click the one that you're looking for, the article, and the article will open up in a separate window. Once you have this window, you can see that the window is already open. Is monetary policy maintained price stability? Here you can see the API style is there. All the information are given here. And there are so many things you can do with this particular website. Now, let's assume I would like to download some of my work export files. So what I have to do, go to the export option. You can see that there is a CSV file. Just press start export. Once it press export, all the information will be in an Excel CSV file so that you can use this information for your bibliometric analysis, your systematic review and meta analysis very easily. Not only that, there are BibTex option, RIS option, which you can import to the Zotero to give, give referencing very easily. OpenLX is a fantastic platform because there are so many research articles published based on the open LX database search because this is an open access and people expect that if you don't have the Scopus or Web of Science access, you can easily use this platform for your systematic literature review and meta analysis. Okay, so you understand that these are the information that you can do. Here, if you click this one, you will see that the information is already open up. And if I open the Excel file, you can see the publication here. Uh, there are so many information for your bibliometric information are already in the Excel file. Okay. So there is another way you can do. You can search the number of pages. You can do the filterization, citation count. There are a lot of other information you can add here very easily. Okay. And then if you want, you can always go to this file and then again download your CSV file. You can always use the EndNote format, which is RIS format and text format. So if you use this RIS format, you can use it in Zotero for your citation purpose. 
So use this OpenLX platform for free and for your systematic literature review and meta-analysis without having any sort of problem. There is another one is called the Core. Core is also a fantastic platform. All you have to do, go to the code, explore the services. For example, we can go to the code and let's assume that first I go to the code. This is the code database, the world largest collection of open access research paper. Similarly, I can write down repo, rate and inflation. You can write your own research theme. Okay, here in this particular platform and then put the search option. Once you put the search option, then it will pop up a window where you can find there are so many articles available on this particular topic. You can add many of the inclusion and exclusion criteria very easily. For example, here you can click field. So once you click the field, there are a lot of field will come up like economics, social science, engineering, medical science. There are a lot of fields you can, you can easily find out from this code. And the one other important purpose, one other fantastic thing is there are some of the articles that you cannot download by Sci-Hub. You can use this OpenLX and Core to download your articles. So here you can see year, type, author, language, publisher, so many options there are for your inclusion and exclusion criteria for systematic literature review and meta-analysis. So this is how you can use Core or open LX for your systematic literature review and meta analysis as an alternative to Scopus and Web of Data Science. Much, my dear learners, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.